I remember, however, when I was in my room, I had painted a picture. I painted a man standing behind a door with an endless sky ahead. And uh, as it is rightly said, that even if you are not ready for the days, it cannot always be the night. Mm. So the sheer impact that it had on me, it triggered a completely different perspective in me altogether. And uh, in that closed room, I felt like I saw a horizon of possibilities. Mm. Um, being a computer science student, of course, then uh, I learned all the things that any computer science guy would uh, think of doing, like uh, reading all the IT books and everything, <laughs> doing the same. And uh, here we are. Uh, mostly, it was all because of the solitude, all the uh, strength, all my weaknesses that I had were now converted into strengths and uh, it was because of uh, the self-presence that I inculcated in myself via meditating and uh, staying with myself most of the time. Even after coming here, whenever I feel like catching up with myself, I uh, just go out there and uh, uh, maybe sit near the lake or uh, at the quiet center, that is one of my go-to places. Mm. And uh, not to mention all the interfaith activities that are being conducted at the university by one of the lovely mentors and chaplains out here. Uh, of course, Rabbi Alex and uh, Neeta Joshi ma'am, uh, Phil and other lovely mm -hmm. chaplains that I met tonight. Uh, it uh, strengthened me from within and uh, uh, that was the thing. And interestingly, I would like to share one more thing today that today this morning when I woke up, I was just reading uh, the agenda for the concert today. And it had a beautiful line written out there. Let me just read that out for you. So the whole concept says, looking back at the challenging times and ahead for a better future. Now, when I read this statement, I thought to myself that in order to bring this into play, we need to have suspension on two important faculties that we possess. One is our vivid sense of memory, which of course makes our experiences rich and another is our vivid sense of imagination because what has happened yesterday or two years ago or even a decade ago i can still suffer today but am i suffering the today or am i suffering the memory that doesn't exist today at the same time what may happen with me tomorrow i'm already suffering isn't it so am i suffering the today or am i suffering an imagination that is not present today with that, I would just like to say that now it's up to us whether we cherish the moments that we have right now, like we were just enjoying the concert, laughing at the red nose, mm -hmm. and having a good time with lovely people around here, or maybe should we just suffer from something that doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. And with that, I would like to conclude by reciting a short phrase, a short um, Bollywood famous phrase. phrase. Mm -hmm. It says, Har pal yaha, ji bhar jiyo. Jo hai sama, kal ho na ho. Meaning, every moment on earth, live life to the fullest. Tomorrow, you may not have the same time as you have now. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Wise words. We'll take with us tonight. We've got